10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon Line and Crew Dragon, Go NASA, Go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bot and Doug. America has won. So rise on the new air. But if you have questions or suggestions, I'm willing to listen to them. I will not necessarily do anything about it, but uh, I'll listen. Um, we had to make six attempts to apply for this Office of Community and Rural Affairs grant through OCRA. is a $600,000 grant. And um, again, we, we had to make six attempts at it, but we finally were successful. So the base bid uh, for our project was won by Malat Construction, and the base bid was 1.17 million. And <clears throat> excuse me, but with alternates one, three, and four, it's now up to 1.57 million. So the alternates were to do um, uh, West William Street there, where the popcorn stand is. So that was one of the alternates. The other one was to take it from Mitchell down to Harris and now is to do all the way from Harris to the railroad tracks. So the project would be from the railroad tracks to Rush Street and um, removing all the concrete, putting new concrete in. And some of you may have seen, there's a contrast of a dark gray concrete and um, that'll be at the corners as well as where the trees are going in. And you'll see the grates <clears throat> look a little, excuse me a little rusty right now but they are going to be coated by um camera welding so they'll be black and we're putting in a different type of tree um, a taller spindly kind of growing tree um we really don't have a lot of storefronts that are vacant my one of my issues is that we have two pub bar owners that are vacant that are holding liquor license as well and so so if they you know, a, don't start the business and use the license or sell the business so the license can be sold with it, we're kind of stuck because we really would love to have a, you know, some kind of a pub or a mini microbrewery, something downtown. Question. I notice there's still some spaces along the sidewalks that are open. Mm -hmm. What what goes in those? They um, want to concrete in the, the lamp posts. Oh. So they can't fill that in until the electric is run in through the conduit and the post is set. Good Mayor, question. have you um, have you considered um, some kind of ordinance against large plastic teeth on Main Street? No, I kind of like that large plastic tooth. It draws a lot of attention, a lot of conversation. Well, it would be okay if they would brush it. <laughs> well, you're not down there for Halloween. I've seen the tooth fairy down there brushing that on Halloween. So We're all doing projects either in the park or the sports complex. And um, we you'll see changes this year to the Veterans Memorial. We're adding more bricks. It's become very popular, so more families have bought bricks. And then we're going to fill in the rest with spacers so it'll just it could be engraved on on site if people wanted to um we've applied oh the art grant for downtown is really going to be exciting so the three electrical boxes in the downtown area will be painted and um, we have artists to do that there'll be also a mural going on the side of um whatchamacakes and then a mural when and if fingers crossed that we get the pocket park that brick wall, that like retainer wall that's between the coal house and the pocket park there, that'll be a nice mural as well. Yeah, 
Uh, Mayor, I had a question. Um, what about the old gas station area there by Town Hall? Is there any um, any update on that? Well, we're about to move into the bidding phase, um, being advertised in the paper, and bids will be taken by Campbell and Fetter Bank in written form only, and um, the highest bidder will be able to purchase that corner, and um, then we'll move from there. So hopefully it will be um, a local organization that we're hoping that gets the, the highest bid so that they can um, in turn, turn it over to the city, and then we'll make it a pocket park. Brent, you want to say this, Jerry? It's Shigs and Pitt um, that, uh, or, or some such uh, organization to to supply barbecue. will be serving it to the the people that are present, so that there won't be any communal use of of um, utensils, and uh, we'll try to keep everybody safe at the same time as having a good time. And I noticed that uh, that the the company that um, that supplies the barbecue also is the Mad Anthony Brewing Company, which has some real possibilities. But we are hopefully, hopefully we're gonna do the um, clause for a cause again soon. And we've had a couple really good suggestions for um, clause. And um, one of them is to actually do some type of a possible art installation for that pocket park, something that would be proud of and something that could be there for a long time and be, you know, I don't want to say a centerpiece, but potentially a centerpiece for that park. So that's on the minds of some people. And I've shared that with the mayor and, and our committees talked a little bit about it. But so hopefully that's going to be in the future. They're not, they're not going to be ready for that for another year or so, probably. So That would be amazing to have Rotary's name on something in there. Yep. I pretty much. I, I, I think I can mute everybody uh, from here. That would be, you know, especially the troublemakers like Fred. Um, at this time, I guess I would like to um, introduce our, our three new members who will be inducted um, at the inaugural. We have Jenna Anderson. Yay, Jenna! Yay. Um, she's here. Uh, Kristen Johnson was here. I wonder if she got booted because people's been going in and out. Kristen Johnson's the other one. Hi, I'm Kristen. Here. Oh, there you are. You're just an iPhone. Yay. Hi, Kristen. And our last one um, is going to be Adam Talby. And um, I think he had to leave. He was having internet issues. I have a question, Donna. Yes. Is, was this COVID thing done intentionally so that these three members would not meet me until after they had already signed on? Yeah, we had that planned. <laughs> well done. Don't We're ruin it now, Fred. Don't it now. ruin it now. <laughs> so. Fred, we're neighbors, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> we do have another potential member on our uh, summit or on our Zoom tonight, and that's the Mrs. Uh, Mayor. So, Mrs. Hanshu, remember, if you're interested, we'd love to have you as a member. I am interested. I'm just, like I said, I'm... My hesitancy is that I would probably only be able to meet once or twice a month because of council meetings. That but is not that is not a problem. Yeah, you'd still be um, have better attendance than about half of our members, <laughs> so you, you'd be fine. <laughs>